Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'll be teaching you how to do chromatic aberration inside of After Effects. We'll be creating two examples of chromatic aberration. This one, as well as this one. They're two pretty similar effects, but each of them have their own artistic uniqueness to them. This one has more of a blurry feel and is actually has a focus point. And this one's entirely chromatic aberration. Now chromatic aberration is basically when you have a poor lens and it's bending the light and it creates a sort of rainbowy effect on the edges of things. Typically this is in cyan and pink but there's also plenty of variations and you can fully customize it with this method. So I'm going to grab my footage here of me eating some breakfast which I recorded a while ago and I'll just drop it into a new comp here. The first step in this process is to duplicate our footage twice, one for each of the colors. So we'll click on Control D twice, or if you're on Mac, Command D. And I'm going to go ahead and name these. I'll name one of them Pink, and I'll name one of them Cyan. And now we need to tint these layers to their na new named colors. So for Pink, I'll go to Effect, Color Correction, Tint, and I'll change the map white too. We're going to make it Pink. So I'm going to select this green here in under RGB and set that to zero, which would be the opposite of green, which is pink. And then for cyan, I'm going to add a tint as well and change the map white to. And we're going to do the opposite of red. So we're going to put zero on red and click OK. So now we have these two layers. The next step is to change the transfer mode on both of them to lighten. So we can toggle our transfer modes with F4 or this button and select lighten. And now the artistic choices start coming into play where we can decide which side of our image wants to be what color. Typically I see it with pink on the right side or the lower side and cyan on the left and or top side. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. You can see as I move the layer using the arrow keys it will start to take effect. So I'm going to move the pink layer to the right a little bit and just down a little bit. And with the cyan layer, I'm going to move it left a little bit and up a little bit. You can see that instantly creates a chromatic aberration effect. And it looks pretty good already. And it's really up to you how far away you put these. You can go for a very extreme effect where we just put them super far out. And it really depends on what your project is. You could try and create the most dreamy feel you want or whatever you're doing. Now if we want to add a blur to make it more dreamy feel, we can add an adjustment layer. Control Alt Y or Layer New Adjustment Layer. And I'm going to go ahead and go to Effect, Blur and Sharpen and I'll add a CC Radial Fast Blur. I'll increase the zoom amount to around 70. And I like to put the center near the top because it makes the blur appear like it's coming towards us more. Now I don't want this whole thing to be blurred in this case. So I'm going to add an elliptical mask, so I'll just make sure the ellipse tool is selected here. I'll double click on it, and then I'll change the mask mode to subtract, and I'm going to feather it quite a lot, maybe around 300. And then I'm going to go ahead and move these, and I'm going to basically create my own focus point where my subject here is the only thing that's basically in focus so we can I guess pay more attention to what he's doing I'm going to readjust these a little bit so it's less extreme okay now the next step is to grab our mask and copy it control C or command C and I'm going to paste it on each one of these other layers we created the pink and cyan that way the chromatic aberration effect is only outside of the mask you can see it's out there but in here it's normal and then it's kind of a dreamy outside. Now if we had a bright area over here it would be much more noticeable. It's kind of hard to see because it's dark but it's alright for now. And yeah we can basically just adjust this mask and create our own focal point. If we wanted to maybe focus on the breakfast we could do that. It's really up to us. And of course as I mentioned you can create whatever colors you want for these. You can do yellow. Um, yellow usually matches pretty well with blue. And you can just create your own look. There's plenty of artistic freedom with this method and you can do whatever you need to do. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, make sure you give it that thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put those below and I'll definitely be responding and or making tutorials for your requests. And of course, make sure you subscribe for my weekly videos so that way you know when they're coming out. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.